I'm Pam, and I'm here to help you turn your kitchen into a family-friendly lab. Together, we'll discuss chemistry, biology, botany, nutrition, physics, and more. So join me and my friends here in my home, in my kitchen, and in my lab at Kitchen Science. Hey, welcome back. Today we'll be blending colors um, on the ceiling and on our whiteboard. Um, I have some cellophane squares and I have our primary colors, so red, blue, yellow, and some secondary colors, the green, uh, orange, and purple. And we're gonna blend them together with our flashlight and with my work light uh, to make um, secondary colors from our primary and tertiary colors from the secondary colors. So when you shine light through a material, so I have a clear cellophane here, when it shines through, um, you get 100% transmittance, and transmittance is how much light shines through a particular surface. So here, you shine light through, and about half the light is coming through, so that's going to be 50% transmittance through this plane here that we can call this a plane of glass. Um, and over here, we're shining light through, and about 75% of the arrows, or you can see light beams are coming through. And then like 25% are getting reflected away. So that's going to be 75% transmittance through this material. So that's pretty much a ratio of how much light can shine at the surface and then how much is actually going through. And you'll kind of hear about that when you're looking at um, windows and getting like windows tinted, how much light actually shines through. Um, so I'm going to hit the lights and then set up everything so we can do some blending. Or if you have gift bags left over, they come in some gift bags. So you have your red light, and you can add another piece of cellophane over it, some yellow, out here, to kind of create an orange. And the same thing with your blue. To make a purple tint to your room. So this would be fun for the holidays, to just kind of tint your room with different colors. Cellophane turns to purple. 
or mix it a little greenish with the yellow. So if you don't have a um, if you don't have a shop light, I do a lot of work around the house, so I have a shop light. If you have a shop light and all you have is your flashlight, that's fine too. Um, so what you can do is if you have a rubber band or like a it's kind of like a full scrunchie or a hair bow, get your cellophane and just secure it to the end of the flashlight with the hair bow. So you don't have to hold it each time. So then once you turn it on, you have a flashlight that has the color. So it has whatever color you want. So it's pretty much um, a color changing flashlight. And then you can go through and switch out the colors. So it makes it a little bit easier than holding it with one hand. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. Be on the lookout for new content. Thanks.